Ladies and gentlemen, the devil is coming after you by going directly after your children. I was confronted with a situation recently where I was forced to act upon a circumstance that I perceived as being threatening to one of my children. And as Victor Marx would put it, the dangerous gentleman in me came out. I did not do anything wrong. I did not do anything unethical. I did not do anything unbiblical. I certainly didn't do anything illegal. But I opened my mouth and I spoke firmly to put a particular action to a stop because I have an obligation as the parent of my precious children to defend them at all costs. The problem is this. If I can, as a government official... Make it okay in the mind of a parent to watch their children being exploited. I can promise you this, then anything goes. If I can force you to put something inside of a child that you have no idea what effect it might have on that child, then in essence, I win. If I can subject a child to all kinds of evil and wicked manipulation without society even speaking up about it, then I win. What do you think they're doing with the border, folks? Do you understand that the conceded to number, the number that was released by the Department of Justice, which I promise you the number is way higher because the Department of Justice is really the Department of Injustice. They are a bunch of corrupt devils. Now, I want to make this very clear because this is very important. I want you to understand that when organizations like the Department of Justice place more of an emphasis on arresting parents that are standing up for their children who are being exploited in a public school, when they place more of an emphasis on that than they are child trafficking, you've got a problem. Let me go back to what I was going to say. This number is conceded to by a corrupt Department of Justice. As a matter of fact, the number comes from the Department of Justice. But did you know that over 80,000 kids so far this year have disappeared? from the border. You talk about, you don't like kids being in cages and so on and so forth, you big fat hypocrites. Even though you're okay with kids being exploited in ways that are unimaginable to most people in society, you say that's okay, but you're gonna get mad that kids are in cages that Obama created? Think about that for a second. You are kicking and screaming and freaking out because a child is separated from their parent because of an immigration custody situation Yet you have no problem with the fact that the more you continue to open a border to allow people to come in illegally, the more of an open door you create for things like the cartels, these people coming out of Sinaloa and other parts of South America, exploiting children at rates that are far beyond the capacity of most people to be able to understand. Does anybody, does anybody realize how insane of a mindset that is? We just had a movie that got released. Pay attention to this, folks. I believe it's called The Sound of Freedom. Jim Chaviso is in this movie. I have seen clips of the movie before it was actually released. I have spent some time looking at the materialization of the plot as they were beginning to develop it. And I can tell you this right now, I may not recommend a 16-year-old or under going to watch the movie, but I would recommend anybody going to watch the movie because the movie actually creates awareness within people to understand what's really going on. Most people will never be exposed to even one one hundredth or one one thousandth of the darkness that is exhibited in child exploitation from day to day. I think that we should, on a regular basis, stop for one moment to reflect upon how the enemy works. One of his most powerful and effective tactics one of his most powerful tactics is to basically get you to think that the evil that's going on in this world really isn't all of a big deal. The more unaware you can become of a matter at this level, then the more effective the exploiters become. It's a very important thing to think through. It's something that a lot of people don't necessarily consider. The enemy is so good at minimizing these issues. It's really important to understand this. He also uses agents. Should I just say this? He uses agents in the mainstream media to get you to justify being ignorant of these matters. And he even minimizes the brevity of the issues that are actually being put in front of us. And he does it very well through these mainstream media people. The picture that I'm going to show you, I, I, I'm, I'm talking about all of this because the picture that I'm going to show you or the video is part of a box office review 
that gets done. And I'm going to show you the first 30 seconds of this review that CNN actually puts out. I want to warn you, what you're about to see is highly demonic. They come against movies like this Chavizo movie because they themselves function as people who support the exploitation of children. They have demonstrated that already. They defend the drag queens in the libraries. They defend the exploitation of children through the trans contagion, and it continues to happen. Listen to what they say. These films are created out of moral panics. They're created out of bogus statistics. They're created out of fear. And with something like Sound of Freedom, it specifically is looking at QAnon concepts of these child trafficking rings that are run by the high-level elites and only people like Tim Ballard and only people like Jim Caviezel and by extension, only people like the ticket buyer can help bring these trafficking rings down. So there's a very participatory element. You're not just going to see a movie, you're just killing two hours on a hot day. You are helping bring down these, these pedophile rings and save children. Now, it's not true, but it's a very comforting and it's very warm feeling to have. Isn't that evil? Isn't that dark beyond most people's capacity to be able to contemplate or understand? Isn't that insane? Do you understand that they are coming against a movie that is actually exposing the darkness and getting people to reconsider how they look at things like open borders? This is so incredibly evil. They're angry because they're being busted. They're angry because they're being exposed. They're angry because they know they're wrong. They know they're walking in darkness. They know they're walking evil, but they just don't care. They have no concern for the things that are right or wrong. They have no respect for any of those things. And they haven't for a very, very long time. I wish people would recognize just how dark things are getting. I wish people would look at this for just one moment and use this as a sign to wake them up. If we could just stop for just one moment and just say, what in the world are they supporting? Why is this actually even happening? Why are we like in a place today where we just say, hey, you know what? We'll just let it slide. What in the world is going on? Folks, please understand. Please understand that the enemy is good at what he does. Can you please understand that? Can you please recognize, please, 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 please watch closely. Understand that they are rewriting history. Understand that there is going to get, a, there is going to come to a point where if they are successful in what they are doing, they are going to blind the eyes and the hearts and the minds of the people that sit within society to think in their mind that no such thing could ever happen and nothing has ever happened. And thus history will repeat itself. Wickedness will repeat itself.